Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Welcome back, my friends, to another video on my channel. So today also we're gonna be a mailbag video because just this morning the postman bring me all this stuff so I have one two three four five six seven seven bugs and like usually when I'm doing mailbag video I'm gonna op the, open them and I'm gonna explain from where I buy for which project and uh, how much I spend how long it takes to be here so uh, let's start with the, this one let me grab my knife Let's see first if there is any description what is inside. It should be there and there is another another label, but it's nothing that I can see. So the unique way to see is to open that and see what are inside. Yeah. This one was a very cheap kit. I was looking and I was just not because I want this one, it's just because I was checking how much costing the kit and counting how many components and stuff like that and I was just getting a great value for the money that you pay for so let's see which components are involved in this kit so that's why I buy this one because uh, counting the components you get a great value for the money that you pay for all entire kit so even if I will not build it I still have the, the components that can be handful for other things so practically you have one two three four five seven segment display a bunch of resistors the diodes a micro controller which is a peak 16th that anywhere anytime you can reprogram with any other programs that you like on so that's why I have also two transistors well I, not three I can see here this is a voltage regulator it's, oh, it's a transistor transistor another transistor another three 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 transistors Chrysler resonating that is for the microcontroller, uh, trimmer capacitor, other three, four capacitors here around, push a button. Yeah, even if I say if I will not build the kit, uh, still I have spare of that components, some spare resistors and stuff like that. So let's see. From where I buy this one, how much cost me and how fast was the shipping here? Okay, so this item comes from AliExpress, so let me find it. So is this one, it's DIY kit RF uh, 1 hertz to 50 megahertz crystal oscillator frequency counter meter digital LED tester meter so the total amount was two pounds 15 with shipping included I ordered it on uh, 30 December and today is 15 January so 15 days to be here they move very fast let's see if they are still selling and how much they are now costing because now with the, with the brexit now I noticed that if you might want to buy anything from AliExpress it will gonna come also a VAT charge on the top of that a custom charge 
so yeah as you can see here lots of components for this price only if you want to buy the the seven segments if you go to check it will gonna cost you more than two pounds fifteen and for two pounds fifteen i have the seven segments uh, element display uh, microchip peak uh, microcontroller peak few transistor resistor and some stuff yeah it was a good deal just as I say I don't buy it to build it I buy just because the price comparing the components is very good okay so let's move to the second one so this one is very badly parted very no protection at all doesn't say even same in Chinese everything here so description maybe is in the other label but I cannot see it so the unique way to see this one is just opening and let's see what I have here that is a module let's see what's say here yeah it's 15 plus 15 negative with L915 and L815 voltage regulators okay so this one I buy it because I'm planning to do a see very bad because it's not good uh, packing because I want to I want to build a, a nice preamplifier only preamplifier stage that I can connect to any amplifier and stuff like that so I brought this one because I need the 15 volts uh, to power plus minus 15 volts to power the op amps because I'm planning to do it with some nice op amps and yeah this is all gonna be my voltage regulator so when I'm gonna have uh, time to try it because I also working now in a project which is a uh, dual rail bench power supply that I can regulate from 0 to 50 volts and 0 to 10 amps once I'm gonna finish with all this uh, uh, mail back I will gonna show you the, the starting points that I am because I already built some some bits of that uh, project just I ordered also something, some things because uh, I need and I don't have in my stock. So yeah, watch the video till the end to see also that uh, starting project with the, for the dual ray power, uh, bench power supply. So let's see this one from where I buy and how much cost me to be here. Okay, so this item same come from AliExpress and it is uh, this one so it's DC 18 to 35 volts input LM7815 plus LM7915 plus and minus 15 volts dual voltage regulator regulator 85 volt and I brought on 29 December and I paid with shipping included two pounds 84 today is 15 January so 16 days to be here let's see if they still have this one so they have and uh, the same the the item cost one pounds 38 plus a shipping of one pounds 46 and fast moving so here it shows a different than mine is the SMD components is not properly like in the picture so I rather prefer to be like in the picture than to be like how I am gonna text the because the rectifier if you can see is more powerful than what I have the capacitor looks better than this SMDs I'll give my text to the seller to say that I'm not that much happy because it's not the same like how I can see it in the picture. Okay, let's go on continue to the next one, which is very tiny, very small. Here also I cannot see any description, should be in that uh, label underneath. 
Anyway, let me just touch something here down. So let me just open from this side and let's see what we have inside. Ah, oh, some DuPont connector are the 90 degrees uh, L shape because I am projecting something where I will gonna need this shape because it will gonna be soldered on on some uh, device that come like that and then I need to solder here in order that I can I can uh, so it will gonna be three elements so one in the bottom one in the top and another one in the f in the top so this one I need to solder in order that I can plug the front panel to the bottom and, and top panel so I brought this one same uh, I think are 10 pieces yeah 10 pieces and it was very cheap and let's see now from where I brought and how long it takes to be here and how much cost me this uh, this uh, these DuPont connectors DuPont connectors I brought them from Aliexpress as well so let's find them over here so they are the one here so 2.54 millimeter one one rail of 40 pins 90 degree right angle single row male pin header positive reverse top bending PCB bar connector pin header so I ordered it on 29 December 16 days to be here and I pay £1.70 with shipping included let's see if they are still selling that stuff so they are still selling with shipping of 80 pins so they have uh, more stuff that if you go to add the cart it will gonna ask you to choose which model you want there is positive bending 90 degree right angle looks like nothing changed here but if you can see here it's changing reverse bending positive bending reverse bending and uh, top bending so this one are one pound forty this one 84 pence this one 84 pence so i definitely I buy the cheapest one 84 pence so yeah ah, that's the notice because if you can see here the bending is after the the plastic uh, that holds together all the pins and this one the bending is behind of that one so yeah there is this difference on yeah good price very fast shipping and i can start then also working in that project that i buy for so that's why stay tuned activate the notification bell subscribe and you're gonna receive notification when i'm gonna post the video of that project Let's continue with the next uh, bag. So let's take this one. Any description? Same. Uh, I'm pretty sure on the label underneath. Maybe I can. It's telling me here. Rainbow 40p one meter. So what can be rainbow 40p one meter so let's have a look if we open we're gonna see it so yeah i think i brought uh, one meter of this cable because also i need to do a fluke bench bench multimeter the display is not working and i read about that uh, bench uh, multimeter that uh, a lot of people they are saying they have the same issue like the display after a while disappear completely get dark so you cannot see nothing so we're gonna convert convert to this kind of uh, seven segment digits display 
the multimeter. So then I need some wire to connect all the all the display to this because it will gonna be a kind of modification and yeah. So that's why I ordered this this uh, ribbon cable that has I think yeah the 40 pins and one meter length. It's it will gonna help me for that project. And let's see from where I purchased this one, how much cost me and how long gets here. So let me just put this one on here to stay good like that. And let's see from where I buy and how much I spend on. Okay, this item I ordered from AliExpress as well. So this one is the order. So one meter, 10 pins, 12 pins, 14 pins, 16, 20, 26, 34, 40, 50 pins, 1.27 millimeter pitch, color flat, ri flat ribbon cable rainbow, DuPont wire for FC DuPont connectors. So I buy one meter and with shipping cost me three pounds, six pence to be here. I ordered on 29, so 16 days also to be here. Let's have a look if they are still selling that item. Yeah, they are still selling, and as I say, between 6 pins to 50 pins, the price range is different, so you just need to choose which one you like. So, for example, if you choose 20 pins, I don't know how many pins is this one, 60 pins is one. Pound 11 and so on the price is changing for depends how many pins you want to be in your cable so yeah very fast shipping and a good price and moving to the next one this one I can see there is description here it's telling me circuit measurer so I don't remember to order any circuit measurer, so let's have a look what's inside to understand what is that circuit measurer. So, ah, yeah, I have uh, ordered this one because the other one that I had, it's happened that in one day I forget to discharge a big capacitor like that and. I wanted to, to check it and the Atmega chip explode so it was an error that I did I know that I need to discharge the capacitor before but I don't know how I forget in that day and happened that so I ordered that one to replenish because as I say happened that and doesn't work anymore so let's have a look how is this one and for the visual inspection doesn't look good doesn't look good it looks like the screen is cropped the screen looks cropped Anyway, let's see, let's power this one and see if it's working. So let's, let me find a nine volt battery around here in order to power this one on and see if it's working. Actually, I can use my power bin supply, so let me just put it to nine volts so nine volts okay so usually which one is the positive the positive should be the red cable let's do, do not invert the polarity of the power so let's try to see the continuity of which one is the red pin over here so the red is coming there so that's the positive so that's the positive and that's the negative so positive goes here and negative goes here set up to 9 volts and let's 
turn it on and looks like it doesn't work looks like it doesn't work so yeah I was I was sure that doesn't work ah oh, I need to press button to okay let's try to measure a component so let me see what I have around here yeah I have some transistors so let's see a transistor a big chunk like that so just I need to put it in over here and let's try to see I need to use in order to measure this one I need to use some jump things like this one so let me just grab here some cables that are gonna help me to measure the transistor because here it's telling me that is one two three and then all this pin is number one so I need just to do in this way to put one two three here So one, two, and three. Those are the pin here. And let's now to connect the transistor over here. So one, two, three. Let's press the button and see what we have. So yeah, measuring is telling me is a transistor. PNP, which is tip 36C. Tip 36 this is a PNP. So working good. So that's okay. So let's see how much costed and how fast was moved from China to here because this one same I bought it from China. So let's have a look how much cost that one. Okay, this item I order same from AliExpress and took a while to be here very long so let's have a look where is that I need to scroll to all my orders in order to find that one because I remember it was a long time I ordered that stuff so look at here is here so I ordered it on 13 November so two months and two days to be here it's quite long yeah so practically I pay five pounds zero seven with shipping included take a look long time and it's called LCR ESR meter mega, mega 32a digital transistor met tester diode triode capacitor resistant most PN 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 plus test clip plus test clip what is the test clip anyway Let's see if they are still selling this item right now. So, they are still selling. There is a shipping of 87 pence and there is more options that you can choose. It is to give you the different price. So if you ah, so if you buy this one is £4.73. If you buy this one or this case, it's going to cost you same price nothing change and if you change just the enclosure case is two pounds four fifty so yeah disappointed for the shipping time I was waiting for this one a long time but anyway it's a good meter I had before one but I say I did a mistake not checking the capacitor to discharge it before and plug it in and I fried the, the that mega chip Okay, let's move to the next one. Same, the description is underneath over there. I barely can read. Anyway, let's open it and we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, oh, another kit. Yeah, I think this kit as well I buy because it was costing very cheap and for the amount of components is a good deal. It's not necessary that I were gonna build it. But as I say, the things that makes me buy it is because of the number of the 
components in comparison with the, the price look here we have such a lots of transistor and ICs and oh, shank diode very big diode okay so I have also some connecting wires and we have which transistors in this uh, component so 1047 this D1047 is a really good 25 amps transistor then we have another big one which is a voltage regulator this is L7824 voltage regulator then we have another transistor which is D882 then three small ICs which are TL081 hmm. good op amp TL081 another good op amp oh, this one the, the, the pins are a bit okay TL TL081 also another good op amp so if they use three why they don't use straight away a TL uh, that has the same working the same with four uh, four ICs inside and that's it it was easy one IC and finish everything there's another two small transistor yes an S9015 another transistor here which is S9014 four three arms diode I think is a rectifier board this one definitely it's still gonna be the rectifier board yeah and another small maybe is a Zener what is uh, it's a classic one and four zero zero seven LED few capacitors some connectors some screws bunch of re resistor and diodes I'll not open the bag uh, and there's also here let's see what we have also here in the other bug oh, very difficult to open so we have a 50 volt 3300 microfarad capacitor it's not bad then what we have here I have some heat sink maybe this one is for this one yeah and then we have uh, what 5 watt 047 resistor small capacitors around each are 47 microfarad 40 50 volt 50 volts 10 microfarad 47 50 volt some connectors uh, 10 turn then turn variable resistor two potentiometers one is 10k two two 10k potentiometers and another I see ah no this is from there and then the board each it's very nice nice board here definitely should be the big transistor yeah very big transistor over here diodes over there capacitor in the middle it's telling me that I can come in with AC 24 volt yeah I think it's a power supply regulated power supply yeah anyway as I say I don't buy because I want to build it I buy because as I say if you need to see the components and con them and how much you spend for these components you get to spend definitely more money on the components just buy them separately then just buy this kit I'm definitely if we go to check the listing from where I buy and uh, the speed to move here and how much cost it 
definitely you're gonna agree with me that the money that I pay, I pay for it's a good value for the components that I get so let me just finish putting all this stuff inside the bags and we're gonna move to my computer to to check the listing so it's almost done I forget one diode over there let me put in this part the diode so this one's taking good there all of them the wires as well and let's see now to move the computer to see how fast it's moved and how much cost me this item okay so as i say this item comes as well from aliexpress which is this one here so it's 2017 new red 0 to 30 volts 2 milliamps to 3 ampere continuously adjustable dc regulated power supply diy kit for school education lab so i ordered it on 30 december so 15 days to move here £3.65 was shipping included and I have to say the number of the components in this one definitely make that money so let's see if they are still selling so they are still selling and now the price looks like no because if you make the price of the listings plus shipping you get on that pound three pounds and something so yeah Ah, it's not that one, that one is something else. Ah, it's this one. So this one is the bunch of kit that is, you get it. So you get three op amps, diodes. Again, you swap to that bottom. Anyway, it will gonna look like that when it's done. So. Hmm. Something different than what? There is a Ah, on the radio in the heatsink is coming that transistor, small transistor. The, the voltage regulator does still gonna stay on the side that you need to supply by yourself a, a heatsink. For this big chunk, also, you need to supply a bit heatsink because definitely it's gonna get hot because that's the unique one that get out the power how after you regulate from here the amps and the voltage. So, yeah, move fast and cheap. And it's good one. And the last one for today, which is this one. This one comes from eBay. And let's see, maybe it's something that I'm waiting for that uh, dual grade power bench supply that I'm, I'm building. Yeah, I for that one. Add the voltage and a metal volt meters doesn't want to come out there's two pieces because if i'm doing a dual dual uh, rail power supplies i need one for the positive side and one for the negative side and if i here let's also test them to be sure that they are working so let's get the first one out from the box so that one is the uh, the one that measuring the amperes and this one should be here the power and the voltage that measuring the yellow should be measuring the voltage and through these two wires you need to apply uh, voltage so let me see how I can manage here to get at least 5 volts to this one because this one should work starting from 5 volts and to measure some voltage uh, to be sure that is working so how can I do I might need another another wires connector for my power supply to find Mm -hmm. yeah hold on i think i think i have something here because my power
power supply has more output so I have 5 volts regulated 12 volts regulated 3.3 and then I have then the variable one from 0 to 27 volts but I don't know how to get the power from that one anyway let's see first if it's working so I'm gonna load the voltage to something of 5 volts and let's see if it's working at 5 volts at least so the black should be ground the red should be the positive So you can see we is working now I just needed to measure between ground and let's see if it's measuring the same five the same five volts yeah it's measuring the same five volts 4.99 let's see the other one if it's working as well so The other one is working as well, so let's just plug this one in. That one goes there, and as I say again, I need just to put power on the red wire. And just a second, because the red wire is not open, so let's try to open this red. red open now so let's put the positive on the red one let's put the negative on the black one yeah it's working as well so it show me zero let's have a look if it's measuring the same 4.99 99 so they are perfect calibrated so they're gonna be good for my dual array power supplies so I'm gonna have the positive negative and also the positive and negative separately measuring also the, the the draw current amps so this one definitely come from eBay as I mentioned so let's see how fast moved and how much cost me this to so I mentioned that this item come from eBay so they are those ones so I run them from the UK because I say I'm in the middle of doing the project and I need them fast to connect also that one in the circuitry and to do to see how that work so two pieces was cost me six pounds 95 and come from Dolphin 114 and they are good as I say they show me the same measurement 4.99 with the same power supply so this means I calibrated good the item come also very fast I ordered on 13 January and in two days it's here yeah so if you go to see if they are still selling let's have a look yeah they are still selling and uh, as I say pack of two is six pounds 95 you can choose only one if you need only one it's not gonna cost you four pounds 45 one so that's why if you buy more items it's gonna be some discount on now i still waiting some thermistors in order to make also the the temperature control for the cooling fans which are those ones some wires some resistors these ports to uh, 10 turn ports uh, to do the, the regulation because now I was just testing with the normal potentiometer and I cannot adjust the voltage very easy like that because you know you need you need uh, a, a 10 turn uh, potentiometer to regulate the voltage very easy so yeah I'm happy with the with these components Okay, so let me reveal a bit uh, from the project that I'm working, uh, working on and as I said, these, these components are part of also for that project. 
this one and this one. And so. That's so far my voltage variable regulator. So I'm using this side is the positive side. So I, I need that uh, uh, 50 watts resistor to cam this one and this one, then get in parallel like that. I'm gonna use two transistor to on the output for the voltage because I say I, I'm gonna regu I can regulate from 0 to 50 volt and I can draw 0 to 10 amps so that's why I say also the thermistor that I'm waiting are for this uh, cooling fans to make like uh, with the sensors when they get hot in, in that moment to start to spin more fast and they are cool the spin lower then here I have the other the negative side which is in this side the same two two per output I have the drivers over here that are tip 120 and tip 125 and then I have the small transistor that are uh, BCs over there down you cannot see them very well maybe if you can see there is two BCs over there down that they are uh, reading the the potentiometers so as I say now in testing mode I was using this potentiometer the normal ones and as I say are very sensitive and jumping the voltage very easy or well, 10 turns I'll be more better adjusting the voltage I already tested I draw up 10 amps from it because I'm gonna show the transformer that I'm gonna go to use for so that's the big transformer that goes for this one has a very thick wire on the secondary windings and a normal standard rectifier and positive and negative capacitor that it will gonna comes on the input over here actually the transistor the output transistor are very good at relay rated 25 pounds one i'm gonna put on the description down the links from where you can buy this transistor are very good are really high quality are not chinese or something like that are originals one and uh, as I say, I tested, nothing happened. 10 amps I draw like that. I use it some because I don't have some thick wire, was it some uh, some uh, thin wires? The wires almost get in fire, but transistor working perfect, doesn't have nothing to the transistors. They're really high quality. And as I say, I'm gonna put on the description the link from where you can buy this transistor are really original and good so yeah this was the content for the video for today the mailbag video with some stuff that going on as i say this project working in this one as for this project the other stuff i already explained for what i buy this one i'm planning to make a nice preamplifier with op amps so i need the voltage regulator for the op amps and this one is a good one this one as i say if i might build i'm gonna build it the kit this one definitely no because i don't have nothing to do with the description of that kit but definitely i might use these ones for other projects to see the the project of my bench power supply the dual rail watch bench power supply please uh, subscribe activate the notification bell like that you're gonna receive notification when i'm gonna post the video the progress of this project and until the next video what to say stay safe because it looks like this virus doesn't want to finish and then have a good day and see you for the next video and thank you for watching